disrepair. That's a reality we face if we don't grasp the reins soon in a period of catastrophes, one of which is an open southern border and the mass. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as our nation faces a myriad of catastrophes, one of which is an open southern border and the mass migration of illegal aliens, Washington's fiscal house sits in utter disrepair. That's a reality we face if we don't grasp the reins soon and stamp out wasteful spending. Our nation will suffer serious consequences that will continue to compound. Not a penny of taxpayer money should be directed to frivolous spending binges overseas while the southern border is sitting wide open. We should take care of our country's needs first. American families and hardworking taxpayers across the nation demand that action be taken to cut spending, restore fiscal sanity, and get our country moving in the right direction. Mr. Speaker, I wholeheartedly agree with them and I've taken action to restore fiscal order in Washington to cut wasteful spending and protect taxpayer dollars from rampant abuse, I've supported common sense amendments to the ongoing fiscal year 2024 state foreign operations and related programs appropriations package. These amendments slash funding for the United States Agency for International Development by half, transfers millions of dollars from the Peace Corps budget to the spending reduction account, eliminate millions in funding for the Global Environment Facility Fund, and prohibit funds from being used to implement the Paris Climate Agreement. Our children, grandchildren, and future generations of proud Americans to come deserve fiscal order in Washington and our country's needs being put first. Anything less is entirely unacceptable. In addition to my continuing efforts to uphold fiscal order and put the needs of our country first, I've also co-sponsored H.R. 2445, the Special Inspector General for Ukraine Assistance Act. Legislation would establish an office for an Inspector General for Ukraine Assistance to oversee all funding made available in support of Ukraine. Specifically, this legislation requires the President's nominee to serve as the Special Inspector General for Ukraine Assistance to be confirmed by the Senate. Direct the Special in Inspector General for Ukraine Assistance to submit quarterly reports to Congress on obligations and expenditures of U.S. funds and the provision of military equipment. Require a report on the Ukrainian government's compliance with anti-corruption measures and comparisons of America's contribution to Ukraine to those from our NATO allies. Mr. Speaker, oversight of taxpayer dollars and resources should never be cast aside or abandoned. We can stamp out wasteful spending, put our country's needs first, and ensure effective oversight of taxpayer dollars all at the same time. My record on cutting wasteful spending is clear, and I will always fight to ensure that the dollars of hardworking taxpayers are not only respected, but also protected. I yield back climate agreement. Our children, grandchildren, and future generations of proud Americans sitting wide open. We should take care of our country's needs first. I continue to compound. Not a penny of taxpayer money should be directed in the right direction. Mr. Speaker, I wholeheartedly agree with them, and I've taken a migration of illegal aliens. Washington's fiscal house sits in utter... Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as our nation faces a misrepair, that's a reality we face if we don't grasp the reins soon and stash funding for the United States Agency for International Development by half and related programs appropriations package. These amendments slash taxpayer dollars from rampant abuse. I've supported common sense amendment reduction account. Eliminate millions in funding for the global environment to restore fiscal order in Washington, to cut wasteful spending and protect